Hi, how are you? It's Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Mercedes AMG A45S and next to me is a rather similar looking Mercedes AMG A35. And we are gonna have a drag race. So this may seem a foregone conclusion and it is. This will win, no doubt about it, unless I completely things up. But what I wanna know is how much it will win by. So this car has a hand-built two-litre four-cylinder turbo petrol engine with 421 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels via an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. It's also got a very clever rear differential, which allows the car to send power to the rear wheel with the most grip. All this does add to the weight. So this car's quite heavy. It's 1,635 kilos. It's also rather expensive starts from just under 51,000 pounds. That means that it's 13 grand more expensive than an A35. You see that starts from around 38,000 pounds. It has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine, but it's not an AMG hand-built one. It's just a normal Mercedes one tuned to 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It has a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox rather than an eight speed like this car has, but it does drive all four wheels. However, it is missing that clever rear differential. Still, that does help save weight. You see that weighs 1,555 kilos, significantly lighter really so that will affect things the power to weight ratio isn't going to be as big as you think let's compare the sound from these two two liter engines see if there's a difference that's what my vacuum cleaner sounds like let's hear what the other one sounds like go on rev up that a35 does it sound different I really can't tell from here. You're gonna to have to let me know whether they sound different. And if they do, which one sounds the best? Or should that be, which one sounds the least bad? <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Now, before we get into this, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Have you done it? If you haven't, please do and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single upload. Also, if you're thinking about buying a new car or you know someone who is, just Google help me car wow because me and my team are there to help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers. Alternatively, you can click on the pop-out banner up there and go straight to car wow to check out the offers. Right, let's get into the race. Buying a new car? Then head to car wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car wow your one-stop car buying comparison site. But before we do, let's just talk about the look of these cars because they're almost identical. The only visual differences between the A45S and that A35 are the fact that I've got a grille with vertical slats in it, which I prefer compared to the old fashioned AMG one with horizontal slats. The wheels are different. I've got red brake calipers and I've got four exhaust pipes rather than two. But most people aren't really gonna be able to spot the differences. There is one difference everyone can spot though, and I'm gonna do it now, is that this car has a drift mode. So to engage it, you have to put the stability control all the way off, car in manual mode and in sport plus or race and then you pull up on both paddles paddle up to confirm drift mode active all well and good let's do it let's go the other way i can smell some tireage now let's see <laughs> what happens when the A35 tries to do that. I predict understeer. I'm seeing a lot of understeer. Quite a lot. That was really elegant understeer. I enjoyed that. Thank you very much. I reckon that was worth probably about £3,000, so now I've only got 10 grand to make up. So I need to thrash its ass in the drag race. Obviously, seeing as we shoot in England, it's raining, of course, but that's the way it is. I think that might negate my power advantage, but hey, let's see. Three, two, one. Put off the line by both of us. Oh, here we go. This thing hooked up like you would not believe. It may be wet, but <laughs> this A45 does not care. Oh! What is it with me and birds? Goddamn seagulls, piss off. Yeah. 
So then, what exactly happened? Well, the A45S completed the standing quarter mile in 12.1 seconds, while the A35 crossed the line in 13.4 seconds. Now we can have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. We're going to put the cars into comfort mode. We've got them in automatic mode for the gearbox. Anyway, let's do this rolling race. Okay, here we are. Three, two, one, go! This definitely kicked down well. Well, compared to that one. And now we see the performance difference. Oh, this is insane. Oh, there's a load of birds. I'm backing off. I hate these birds. God almighty. What we're going to have to do, A35, is chase these birds off. We need to just stay in this place where they want to be sitting. And then they'll just bugger off and find another location. One of them did a poo on my windscreen. <laughs> well, that's what it thought about your car's performance, you see. It's a dirty protest. You just got destroyed then, didn't you? Cost a bit more than A45, but you get what you pay for at the end of the day. It really is a noticeable difference, isn't it? From here, it really is noticeable, yeah. This is a rolling race with the cars in race mode, all their sporty setting, and the gearbox in manual, starting from third gear. Right, let's get up to 50. This is gonna be all about the boostage. Okay, I count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, the pickup on this is insane. I like the way you get the flashing of the lights, tell it to shift up. That way, there can be no errors. I've, I've made absolute mincemeat out of that A35. I mean, this is just absolutely blasting. 150. Oh, GoPro, GoPro, just lost the plot then. <laughs> <laughs> the guy <coach> went, meh! <laughs> he couldn't take it, we're going too quick. <laughs> oh dear. That's the worst it's been so far, isn't it? I could barely even see you. The pickup on this hand built engine is insane. When you got it spinning above like 3000 RPM, it is just ready to go. Finally, we're going to do a brake test. Can the A35 pull one back here, seeing as it's lighter? So we're going to do this brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop, we'll see which car stops in the shortest distance. Here comes the line. Oh, I can't really see much. <laughs> so this is so damn close. So what do you reckon? I think you just about won that. I think I just edged it, yeah. So, with that in mind, does that sway your opinion about which car you would have? Would you pay the extra 13 grand to have an A45S over an A35? The two inches don't make any difference to me. I'd have the A45. Well, the two inches might make a bit of a difference to me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. <laughs> Let me know of any videos you'd like to see in the comments below. And would you like to see an amazing saving I've got on one of these cars through CarWow? Of course you would. Click on the pop-out banner up there to get a CarWow to check out that offer. It might mean that the pricing difference isn't what you think. Also, please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Thank you very much, Windscreen Wipers, for interrupting me. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Gotta get rid of the birds. They just get in the way when you're trying to do those high speed runs. Don't want one of those coming into the windscreen when I'm doing 150 miles an hour, because that could well be the end of me as well as the bird. Have you heard about the bird? The bird, 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 bird is the word.